It's 2.30 a.m., so I'm going to try and keep my voice down a little bit, but who saw that coming? Not just the scoreline, not just how dominant England were, but also the broadcast in Australia. I don't know what it's like across the rest of the world, but here it was absolutely terrible from the delay at the beginning all the way through. Then there was a 15-minute ad break because they didn't know what they were doing. I don't know if it was Australia's fault or England's fault, but... The entire setup, no ball boys. The video ref, poor old Adam G. I thought Ashley Klein did all right except for a mad forward pass, but damn, did I overrate Samoa. Thank you for all the support on the official predictions video. I dropped one of my most highest rated prediction videos, probably in the channel's history, but I'm going to look silly to a lot of people now because I thought Samoa would top the group and they conceded near 50 points today. Absolute disgraceful performance. England were very, very good. Don't get me wrong, but I expected a lot more from Samoa. I thought Anthony Milford, he got sin bin and rightly so. I thought they could have made an example out of him and sent him off, to be honest, but sort of glad they didn't. I think Luai has to be the seven. I know he relishes just sticking on the left, but in the World Cup, considering how good he is, considering he looked very dangerous every time he got the ball, I think he needs to stand up. Suali'i, he had some good moments, but I think he might be out of depth at fullback. Wouldn't mind seeing Stephen Crichton there. You've got that Penrith connection. I think you want to use it as much as possible. Chanel Harris Devita, you know, I thought we might not see him for these past lot for the last few weeks of this tournament. But Tyrone May, he's torn his ACL, it looks like, so he's definitely gonna get a shot, especially if Milford goes down suspended. But for England, their Fords dominated. Samoa had Papali and Paulo, they both went big quiet. Their bench forwards too, Marty, Alloway, they all went a bit quiet. Basua, just even guys like Stephen Crichton, you just, or Brian Toto. I've never seen Toto go so missing in a game before in England. It was the Dominic Youngs, it was the Sam Tompkins, the young 5'8. I'm going to stuff this up and I can't be asked to look it up, but Wellesley, George Williams, it was good to see him. But to concede 50 points in your first game, look, you can draw a line through Samoa. Even if they put Cryan at fullback, if they put Luai at halfback, they can't fix it. England are on a completely different level. They just got rolled in the middle, and Samoa, their backs, they couldn't do anything. If I had to pick a best player for Samoa, it would probably be Tago. He was one of the only try scorers for him, so very disappointing. England, they go through. I do have to apologize about the highlights, guys. There's just... BBC Sport must have the rights, and they just, it, they're, oh, everything's blocked in Australia, so I couldn't access them. I was having to use a lot of things. The broadcast was absolutely disgraceful tonight. Don't, don't know whether it's England's fault, don't know whether it's Australia's fault. Hopefully, it's better for the Australian game in a few hours, because otherwise, we might have to ditch this post recap sort of video. Apologies again. I'm trying to be very quiet. Got family around. I will be back in my normal setup tomorrow so we can scream and carry on in the early hours of the morning. Very disappointing game to open the World Cup unless you're an England fan from both a just organizing perspective. Very disappointing. A great chance to grow the game. We all talked about how this was the best World Cup in years and unfortunately it looks like the organizers, organizers and the broadcasters definitely didn't listen. But guys, smash that like button if you enjoyed the video. I'll try and drop one in a few hours. I might need some shut-eye and who knows, maybe this video gets copyrighted to crap. Smash that like button. Comment your thoughts about the game down below. Do you think Samoa can still win the World Cup? Let me know. And of course, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I'll see you guys in the next one.